Hey, how's it going, everyone? Whew. Can you smell that smell? That fall honey. I don't know if it's the goldenrod or the, the aster. It's got a funky smell to it. But today I just want to go over what I think is probably one of the best wax moth traps there is out there. Uh, they're easy to make. Uh, anybody that beekeeps has probably already come across this, but I figured might as well share my own video. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's basically a two liter bottle and it's got one inch hole cut about three inches, four inches from the top. And then we got a mixture in here that's one cup of water and uh, this bottle actually used one cup of distilled apple cider vinegar and then uh, one cup of sugar and then I also added some old pears that were starting to go to the bad side and then a uh, apple peel later and you can see inside here all the wax moth in there and it doesn't just catch wax moth. I guess these are good for your wasps or yellow jackets and uh, hornets or whatnot. And it's been catching flies and there's been beetles in there I've seen floating around. But I'd like to also say they don't they don't all have to be two liter bottles. Like as you can see here. I used a vegetable oil container and I cut, cut the hole here and it's working catching those wax moth and I think uh, this container I just used regular distilled white vinegar uh, and one cup of water along with one cup of sugar and uh, banana peel And I got another container right here. And this right here is actually a empty container of uh, some hummingbird food with uh, a mixture. Not so many wax moths in there, but there's a few. I think I even got a a milk jug down here. Yep, there it is. I'm using a milk jug. And we got some flies. There's a couple of wax moths floating around in there. And you can see where I cut the hole. And they don't even need to be clear plastic containers. I also have a green one hanging here on the tree. And there's a hole and as you can see inside there's some victims in there so yeah if you're having a problem with wax moss make yourself up one of these like I said use one cup of sugar one cup of vinegar it doesn't matter white vinegar apple cider vinegar and uh, a cup of water and then along with a, uh, a banana peel or some kind of rotten fruit I, I use pears in that one so so yeah that's what I wanted to share with everyone if you found this video helpful uh, hit that thumbs up button for me um, if you haven't already, subscribe. It's free. It don't cost a thing. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, so far, I've only got 82 subscribers. But as soon as I reach 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away a 12-ounce container of honey. And uh, if you want in on that, check out my video before this one. And... Uh, Follow the instructions and leave a comment and we'll get you entered into that. So, anyway, I hope you have a good one wherever it is, wherever you may be. 
and all that other good stuff. Until next time, we'll see you later.